bill right here, and we're very proud of it. It's a uh, it's going to be a tremendous thing for the American people. It's going to be fantastic for the economy. It's going to keep companies from leaving our shores and opening up in other countries. They are very disincentivized to do that. They are there's not a lot of a lot of not a lot of not a sense to do that. You do that and. Uh, I don't think you're going to be running your company very well. So what's happening is we're going to sign this. This is a little picture of it. It fits nicely in the box. I said take it out of the box because people have to see. And all of this, everything in here, is really uh, tremendous things for businesses, for people, for the middle class, for workers. And I consider this very much a bill for the middle class and a bill for jobs. And jobs are produced through companies and corporations. And you see that happening. Corporations are literally going wild over this. I think even beyond my expectations, so far beyond my expectations. So I'll sign this today rather than having a very big formal ceremony in two weeks when we were going to do it, because I didn't want you folks to say that I wasn't keeping my promise. I am keeping my promise. I'm signing it before Christmas. I said that the bill would be on my desk before Christmas, and you are holding me literally to that. So we did a rush job today. It's not fancy, but it's the Oval Office. It's the great Oval Office. Uh, and just to conclude, our country is doing very well. We've tremendously cut regulations. Uh, legislative approvals, uh, for which I'm given no credit in the mainstream media, we have, I believe it's 88 which uh, is number one in the history of our country. Second now is Harry Truman. Harry Truman had more legislative approvals than any other president, and uh, a record long held. And we beat him on legislative approvals, for which I get no credit. A lot of people say he needed this because he has had no legislative approvals. Well, if you look at VA Accountability Act and so many other bills having to do with the VA, having to do with the military, having to do with many things, We have more legislative victories than any other president, not including this, but this is the capper because this is, again, the biggest tax cut, biggest reform of all time. So it's an honor to have you with us, and we will sign this right now. This is something I'm very proud of, great for our country, great for the American people. Thank you all. So we won't do the whole thing, but this is basically what it is. That's your bill. And I want to thank uh, some people in particular that aren't here, because, again, we expected a formal ceremony in two weeks. But Mitch McConnell has been fantastic, Uh, worked so hard. We would speak at 3 in the morning and 2 in the morning, and we would speak whenever we had to speak, but he worked so hard. And the exact same thing can be said for Paul Ryan. Uh, They are very proud of this, and we're already seeing the results. And as I said, long before, long ahead of schedule, uh, Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, thank you very much. Orrin Hatch, the chairman, uh, made a beautiful speech the other day in front of the White House. An absolutely brilliant, beautiful speech, and we appreciated it, and I appreciated it. Hardworking. Kevin Brady, he, I don't think he slept for months. It's almost like that's all he did was this. Mike Enzi, Senator Enzi. Diane Black. Rob Portman. The group of Rod, Rob Portman. Rob worked so hard, so knowledgeable on the subject. Pat Toomey, likewise. Tim Scott, likewise. John Thune, likewise. These people work so hard, and I don't know if they're given the proper credit. And the whole Senate, when I say the Senate, unfortunately, the Republicans in the Senate. Uh, Democrats don't like tax cuts. They want to raise your taxes. They don't want to lower your taxes. They want to raise your taxes, and they want to spend money foolishly on things that we we don't need in many cases. So. Uh, We're cutting taxes, we're taking care of our military, and we're taking care of people. And we're really doing a job on jobs. So these folks have been 
so fantastic that I had to call him in. And plenty of others, believe me, Republicans in the House and Republicans in the Senate have been incredible. So this is what we, we got. We had it. It was all set to go. As soon as I got back from Christmas, where we'll be working in uh, Florida, I'll be working very hard during that Christmas because we have many things we're talking about, including North Korea, including uh, a lot of things happening in the Middle East, as you know. We've made tremendous strides, obviously, in Syria with ISIS. We've taken back virtually all of the caliphate, all of the land. Uh, same thing in Iraq. And we're making tremendous strides. It's sort of the unwritten story right now. But since my speech on Afghanistan, we're making tremendous progress, tremendous strides. We've opened it up, and uh, it's a whole different world in Afghanistan, I can tell you that. So I'll be working very hard over the holidays. Uh, again, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. I have some beautiful pens over here. And because all of these folks are either continuing to work down the road or getting ready to leave, and I'm sure they'll be working very hard also, uh, I think I'm probably going to hand some of them to the press. Does the media, would any of the media like any of them? Oh, look at these camera guys. But I think we'll do that. So we have them. Uh, Many of you have worked very hard. Many of you have worked very, very fairly, and we really appreciate that. So here you go, folks. You want the box with it or not?